Hi guys, this is Mike of Dog Trainer Cebu. So today, this video is all about the breed na Belgian Malinois. Okay? So, sit. So this is Danny. This is my dog, Danny. She's a Belgian Malinois. One year and uh, almost one year and two months old. And I got her when she was ano, two and a half months old. I started training her at that age then as soon as I got her so um kaya ko to ginawa tong video na to para pag-usapan is this the right dog for you okay so now um may mga tao nagsasabi na it's not ideal daw to have a Belgian Malinois as your first dog i agree okay i definitely agree with that kasi like it's hard enough to have a dog for the first time, any dog, even a small, calm dog. So you need to learn muna how to care for a dog before you even, you know, cons consider having a Belgian Malinois. Because if you have a Belgian Malinois and then it's your first time, you need to learn muna how to care for a dog, what the dog needs, yung mga uh, vaccinations, how to keep a dog healthy. And then, there's this ano pa, whole aspect of the Malinois that you need to know about, which is yung how to make sure that you don't run into problems or how to prevent that or minimize that. Because this dog is very high drive. Malakas yung play drive nila. Kasi this is a working breed, a herding breed, which means na itong bibig niya, sanay siya na lagi siyang merong gustong kagatin. Okay? Gusto niya may nahabol siya lagi. So, you need to keep up with that. Hindi natin sila pwedeng parang i-ano, i-suppress. Okay? So, meron din naman mga exaggerations, no? So, let's say siguro, uh, generally, maybe a general ano, rule of thumb is ganito. You've had dogs before and you kind of know how dogs, ano, learn or understand. Or, yeah, and then maybe if you're in that level na sa experience with dogs, you can have a Belgian Malinois, provided that you'll research, you'll invest time learning how to train your dog, okay? Or if not, you need to hire a trainer. But even though you hire a trainer, you should also learn how to train the dog. So that's why you should hire a trainer that will not only train the dog, Someone who will also train you how to train the dog. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga exaggerations? Like, yung mga nagsasabi, ang Belgian Malinois, it's ano daw, uh, it's supposed to be, ano, working. Kanyan. So, ako naman, I have a Belgian Malinois. Wala naman trabaho tong aso ko. Ang trabaho niya lang is, ano, to make me look good lang sa, ano, sa, sa page ko, sa YouTube channel ko, to show people na what I can do with the dogs. ba? Kasi itong si Danny, if wala itong aso na to, alam mo yun, parang, ano eh, hindi ko alam how I can show the people na I know how to train a dog. So, I owe this dog a lot talaga. Okay? So, thank you very much, Danny, for your participation sa ano, Facebook ko and sa YouTube. Good girl. So, anyway. Uh, so, simula pa lang, kailangan itrain nyo na yung aso nyo. Bata pa lang. Uh, you need to socialize the dog. And by that, I mean socialize it in a way na parang hindi siya magiging parang nervyoso sa labas. Okay? So, especially ngayon, ang daming mga malinwa na lumalabas na ano, uh, para mga washed out. So, what I mean by that is, yung mga lower quality na sobrang weak nerves. Ibig sabihin ng weak nerves, madaling ma manelbios, kumbaga, sa tao. So, ano bang effect niyan kapag ka weak nerves ng aso nyo? Konting tunog, magugulat. Konting ano, um, may makitang tao, magbabark na ma-threaten siya agad, ganyan. So, kapag pipili kayo ng, ano, ng aso, ng Belgian Malinois, make sure to choose the confident dog. 
Okay? So, pwede nyo gawin siguro. Um, I'll just create a separate video about that, how to choose a Belgian Malinois. And also, what's important is, ano bang purpose mo? Why are you getting a dog? Okay? So, uh, I had the Belgian Malinois before na nagtatrabaho pa ako. I own, I have nine hours a day na wala ako sa bahay. But I still manage to, ano, care for that dog. So, I train the dog before I go to work and then after work. So, it doesn't have to be like obedience training, ganyan, formal training. Sometimes I just hang out with my dog, uh, throw the tug or the ball and then make the dog chase it. So, para, ano, nakaka-exercise siya, I walk the dog, I take the dog out to, ano, potty. And then, sometimes it's indoors lang. I just, ano, give the dog commands. I let the dog bite my arm using the sleeve, of course. Or, or the tug. So, it, what, why am I saying this? Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi, hindi naman kailangan talaga yung, like, may mga nagsasabi kasi, ah, I, I don't wanna get a Belgian Malin naman kasi you need to exercise that dog four hours a day. No. I never spent four hours training this dog. Not even a single day in this dog's life that I spent four hours training her. So, I invested a lot of time sa umpisa na tinatrain ko siya. Like, let's say, um, kapag puppy pa, I do a lot of repetitions. So, I do a lot of sit, 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 down, down, down. Wait, wait, wait. Stand, 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 down. Ganyan. Come. <laughs> Nag-react siya. So, anyway, I do a lot of repetitions. So, short sessions, like around 5 minutes. Or 3 to 5 minutes. Ganyan. Uh, 5 times a day. Ganyan ginagawa ko. Nung bata pa siya. So, mga ano yan, 3 months old, 4 months old, ganyan ako. Tapos, no, around 5 months old na, I start introducing Danny na sa obedience namin sa labas. So, maybe, ano, uh, I'll, I'll work on mga simple commands lang to get her used to following me sa labas and also para ma-expose ko siya sa environment na na ito yung mundo. Just introducing the dog to the world. Hindi pwedeng Laging indoor lang. Kasi magingyayari sa aso nyo, ignorante. So, I was able to, ano naman, raise a, an obedient dog. He, she's not even adult yet. Bata pa to. Puppy pa to. One year and, ano, two months. So, mas lalo pa tong maging, magiging mabait. Kasi kapag ang aso, kahit na anong aso yan, around this age, makulit pa usually. Ganitong age, okay? Pero, as you can see, I didn't, I didn't even give this dog a command. Pero nandiyan lang siya. So, it's not because of, ano, kalmado siya talaga na aso. Hindi. Sobrang kulit po nitong aso na to. Ano lang talaga. Yung foundation, ano, uh, inayos ko yung foundation. So, I would say, how the dog will turn out depends on uh, how you live with the dog and the training. So, 20% obedience training okay and then 80 percent how i live with danny so kasi yung obedience is i give the dog a job to do i teach the dog how to sit to lay down to come to me to walk beside me to chase this ano object to bite this object to let go of that object mga ganun lang so it doesn't mean na alam ng aso mo yan gawin it doesn't mean na mabait na yung aso mo so, paano ko ito napabait yung aso ko? Ano lang, how you live with a dog, like boundaries, set boundaries. It doesn't have to be a Belgian Malinois. With any dog, set boundaries and also um, set rules. So, da dapat lahat structured. Tapos sabi nila, um, isa pa to, you have to have a big ano, space for the dog. Dati sa studio unit lang ako nakatira. And this dog, nasa crate siya. Okay? Nasa crate. Doon siya nakatira. Hindi ko siya inayaan na ano, lumabas kasi pag lumabas siya, kama ko na yun. Ang late lang nung ano, tinitirahan ko noon. So, what do I do? I take the dog out and then I train the dog. Ganyan ginagawa ko. So, 
it doesn't have to be, you know, like si sabi nila, you have to walk the dog for two hours, one hour. No. It's mostly mental stimulation. Okay? Give the dog something to, ano, to do, something to think about, something to focus on. Mababawasan yung mga problema nyo. Kasi, yung aso nyo, instead of, ano, thinking of what, what stuff to do, he's thinking of how to obey you. Okay? Or, of executing yung mga pinapagawa mo sa kanya rather than just ano being you know just doing whatever the dog wants okay so uh, again ulitin ko you don't really have to have big space as long as you're going to go out and ano exercise the dog maybe ano uh, it doesn't have to be long walks maybe magbato-bato ka ng ball or ng tug like for a few repetitions lang and then kapag nakita mo na labas na yung dila niya it's that's good na okay na yan and then ano na continue na kayo uh, obedience training okay so ngayon yung sinasabi ko kanina na boundaries what does that mean okay so si Danny kahit na mahal na mahal ko yan hindi ko yan hinahayaan na matulog sa tabi ko this is just personal preference it doesn't mean na katabi mo yung aso mo matulog, magiging masamang aso siya. Hindi. Ako lang, I'd rather be sure na yung aso ko talaga na makokontrol ko. Okay? So, hindi siya pwedeng matulog sa bed ko. Hindi siya pwedeng mauna pag lumalabas ako sa pinto. Hindi siya pwedeng mauna pag papasok ako sa pinto. Ako laging mauna kumain. Tapos, kumain siya naman kakain. So, I don't really pet this dog a lot nung bata pa siya. No, please. Down. Down. So, I don't really pet this dog too much nung bata pa siya. Unless, meron ako sinabing ko man, ginawa niya, and then, yan, sabi ko, please, iba. Good girl. Yan. She earned it. So, everything that, ano, she gets, she works for. So, like now, I'm doing this I told her, diba, place, and then, ano, down. So, ngayon, she deserves to be pet na. Ganyan. So, ano pa ba ang mga boundaries natin? Waiting to be fed. Gusto ko, pag nilagay ko yung food, hindi niya yun pwedeng kainin. Sabihin ko muna, okay, or yes. That's the only time that the dog can can eat that, ano, uh, meal, have that meal. Ano pa ba? I'm not gonna allow my dog to pull on a leash. So everything is structured. Walang disrespect. Everything is clear. Okay? So, ayan. Ano pa ba? When you get a Belgian Malinois, you have to be, you know, um, what do you call this? You have to make sure that you socialize the dog. So it means expose the dog. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to let the dog meet all the dogs that, you know, you guys will come across to or with. So, ako, I never let anyone pet Danny. Okay? Here's the reason why. Kapag kahinayaan ko na yung aso ko, pinepet ng ibang tao, matututunan niya na, ah, okay. So, there's so much more papala in this world than ano, just this guy, ako. So, I can get entertained papala with other people. Other people can feed me. So, that's why I don't let anyone feed my dog. Ako lang dapat. Okay? Kasi, like, even with dogs, I don't let my dog play with other dogs. Kasi, for sure, ano lang, natural na mas masaya makipaglaro sa ibang aso kaysa sa akin. And papano ko makukuha yung focus ng aso ko kung mas gusto niya makipaglaro. Halimbawa, nasa labas kami, let's say, sa park. Sabihin ko, Danny, uh, come. Hindi yan lalapit. Kasi, mas gusto niyang kabulin yung mga ibang aso doon. So, yun lang yung reason ko na kung bakit hindi ko siya hinayaan makipaglaro with other dogs. Nung bata pa siya. Actually, ngayon bata pa rin siya. So, there are times na I let this dog play with other dogs pero I choose carefully kung sino yung makaka-interact niya. So, I choose yung mga dogs that are neutral kasi yung mga neutral na aso, hindi siya papansinin. So, matututunan niya na, ay, ang boring pala ng ibang aso. Mas gusto ko dun sa, ano, sa boss ko. Okay, Mike. <laughs> okay. Danny, 
Good girl. So, ang tagal niyang nandito. So, she deserves to have this. Yes. Good. Yan, yung tag niya. Okay. So, if meron kayong questions about a Belgian Malinois uh, as a breed or how to uh, take care of a Belgian Malinois, how you live with a Belgian Malinois, you can comment them down below. And this is just a random video. I don't have anything in front of me that I'm reading. I'm just talking about my dog here. So, I hope kahit na it's so random, meron kayong na, ano, natutunan, na nagkaroon kayo ng idea, if ever na gusto nyo bumili ng Belgian Malinois. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.